the tweed. Yes. And if you look, my grandmother was into tweed. Uh, she was one, and she used to spin from the sheep's wool. And right. uh, and then my mother was spinning. You've maybe seen a photo. And um, if you look on the TikTok videos, just scroll down, you'll see a plaid that my grandmother made for our friend John Dunstaffnage of, uh, of Dunstaffnage, John Campbell of Dunstaffnage who was the right. captain of Dunstaffnage. And Dunstaffnage Castle is a huge castle uh, near the uh, village of Dunbeg, just outside Oban. Ah, uh, right, okay. You know, right. and that was John Dunstaffnage, who I think lived uh, well into the 60s, Captain John of Dunstaffnage. Right. And my grandmother okay. was very friendly with him, and she, she made him that plaid. I think it's something like, did I put 198? I think it was, but right. you can see wow. it. You can actually see, and if you look at the weave, it's beautiful. And it's Campbell yeah. Tartan. And it's on TikTok. Right. It's a little short TikTok. I love these little 10-second, 15-second TikTok scream, you know, because yeah. everybody yeah. can spare you 15 seconds. I'll, I'll have a look at that on your page. I'll, I'll scroll down, have a wee noisy. Yes, and have a wee I, think you'll, I think you'll like it. You'll be well pleased. Yeah. But she wasn't maintaining that was Harris tweed. That was her own tweed. And they used to dye them using natural dyes, like a grey and a yellow was crottle from the rocks down on the seashore. God, wow. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's sort of really very ancient thinking. Yeah, yeah. And of course, the early kilts, the early kilts, Kareem, were just a huge length of tartan. If you were fighting, you didn't fight in your tartan, which was strange. I'm not sure if they didn't want to disgrace it or if it would have gotten in the way of their mobility, but they fought in their sharp tails. So I would imagine they were sitting in the saddle in the old, uh, you know, the old, the old Jack Duff. And um, then what they would do, they would have this huge length of tweed as a blanket for warmth at night wrapped right round them several times. And even right. if it was damp, their body heat would obviously heat it up. And then, right. um, and it's quite, so. there's a, not quite waterproofing, but there's a kind of, um, you know, water repellent thing to tweed. Right. And, you know, okay. it's, it's very interesting. It's just got one of these, uh, one of these sort of, um, Oh, I don't know. I don't know what you would call it. Just one of these properties, if you like, uh -huh. slightly. I mean, I've worn my tweed jackets in a shower of rain, and they don't stay wet for long. And How do you wash them? Like, uh, well, I would think 